this part we also know plus five by two. So minus seven by two plus five by two is minus two by two. So minus one. Right. So this is uh, the correct answer. And uh, for you guys also. Uh, okay. How should how will I check this uh, assignment? B. So yeah. So what you did is that you uh, took the longer route. So you first solve alpha and beta. So do we need to solve alpha and beta, Abhir? No, sir. We can directly find it out. Yeah, yeah. We can directly by the relation. Out. Yeah. So yeah. So and uh, Amira, you also. Did you understand that? Yes. Yes, sir. So uh, yeah, Amira also solved uh, those two rooms, right? So uh, this was. This was uh, the question, right? So you also solve this. Okay. So you just uh, stopped it uh, at here, right? Just uh, see the question and try to. So you started the question, right? Right. But uh, yes, forget. Sir. But you have to reach the end. So just see that what you need to find out. So in that question, you needed to find out uh, what is alpha plus beta plus alpha into beta, right? So just try to reach uh, up to there. Okay, first you find uh, what is, so first you find uh, what is alpha plus beta, and then you find alpha into beta. Then you can solve this. So is that uh, clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and what was this was the second question, right? So if uh, one zero of the polynomial is this, right? So write uh, the other zero. So zero is this, uh, which means that uh, some of the zeros is uh, minus. So let the other, other zero be alpha and some of the zeros we know, minus b by a. So yeah, we can solve uh, this question by this way also. So how did you guys uh, solve this question? Uh, yeah, so Abir, uh, how did you solve that question? Alpha was this, yeah. So your approach is also that, right? So yes. two minus root three. But why are you doing uh, this? Uh, so did you, did you want to check your answer? Yes, sir, for checking. Yeah, Ab, this is absolutely good that you check your answer. Then you can be 100% sure that your answer is correct. Okay, so yeah, good. And uh, Amira, what did you do? So yes, Duma, huh? so <laughs> Amira, yeah, how did you calculate this answer? How did you calculate this answer? Actually, I did the calculation in my mind and just wrote the answer. Mm, so then you have to show that not, you don't have to keep in your mind, right, Amira? I yeah. So. yeah, because that is why, that is why some teacher cut the remarks, right? So, yeah, we have to be uh, careful. Okay, we have to follow all these steps. Okay, and uh, what was the third question? Hmm. What was this? Was the was this the third question? So find the root of uh, p for which one root of the quadratic equation is six times the other. So what is happening here? What did you do? Uh, HSV alpha beta be the root. So why this alpha into beta is uh, coming? Hmm? So. Yeah, so let's say that if my one root is alpha, so the other root would be how much? Okay, let's say that this is beta. But from this information, six times the other. So from this information, what we can uh, write? Beta is six alpha. Six alpha. Is that uh, clear, guys? Yes. Yeah, yes, uh, good, uh, Abhis. So now we know this relation and uh, then we can apply, uh, then we can apply alpha plus beta. 
So alpha plus beta would be how much? We can use alpha into beta also, but yeah, alpha plus beta would be minus of? Minus 14 by C. Minus 14 by P. Okay, so we need to find about uh, the value of P. Okay. So this is uh, alpha and beta is how much, uh, Amira? Six alpha. Six alpha, so this would be 14 by P. So this is uh, seven alpha and uh, this is 14 by P. So this cancels and alpha is two by P. Right, so did we reach, so P would be how much? P would be two by alpha. So did we reach our answer, Amira? We have to find P. I guess, yes. No, because this is in the form of alpha, right? We have so to, we find, to the, find alpha too. Yeah, so we have to find some number. This is in the form of alpha. So we have this information, alpha plus beta. So do we have another information about, uh, about this polynomial? Do we have another information? Yes, Amira, think about it. So we know alpha plus beta. Do we think, uh, do we know anything else about uh, yeah. zeros? Thanks. Yeah, Tejasvi, you want to answer. So just help Amira Tejasvi. I'm not sure. Sorry. Yeah. What did you say, Tejasvi? I think so. Yeah. So what is the other information that we know about this? Uh, Quadratic. Uh, Can put the value of p in that polynomial. Ah, uh, so then this this uh, polynomial would be in the form of alpha there, right? Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hmm. We also know this alpha into beta, right? Yes, sir. So yes. this is uh, eight by p. Is that uh, correct, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So alpha into beta is alpha into six alpha and uh, eight by P. And uh, this is six alpha square is eight by P. And alpha is two by P, right? So six into two into two by P into P. Right, 2 by p into 2 by p, so 8 by p, p, p cancels, and, and yeah. this, yeah, so this would be how much? p would be 6 into 2 into 2 by 8. So yeah. p goes over here, and 8 comes over here in the denominator. So that is how. So this is 4, this is 2. And uh, this is three. Huh? So how did you get this answer? <laughs> okay, how did you get this answer, uh, Tejasvi? So I took the help from my father, actually. <laughs> okay, so this is the, the steps that we follow, right? Yes, sir. I don't know about uh, alpha into beta. How do you get uh, alpha into beta? Right, some of the roots is uh, alpha plus beta, right? Okay, so did you guys, uh, Abir and uh, yeah, I will not uh, check uh, what did you guys do because, yeah. Sir, I didn't do this question. This was the fifth ah. question. Oh, this was the fifth question that you were asking, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, so did you understand that? Yes, sir. And Abir, uh, what did you, yeah, so this is the form of uh, X, but uh, we are not solving. Okay, so yeah, we are not uh, pointing out what uh, you guys did, just understand this part. Where we want to reach, right? So just keep in mind that we have to calculate uh, this P only. We have to calculate this P and what are the informations that are available? So first information was uh, this, six times. 
And the second and third information is this you know, and this you know. So applying uh, these information, we can reach our answer, which is try to find out what is this. So is that uh, clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you, yeah, you guys uh, quickly note it down. Right, do you, do, do you guys want to note it down? Yes, sir, I have noted it down. Okay. Already noted? Yes, and, sir. And uh, what about uh, Amira and Tejasvi? Done, sir. Done. Okay, so while I was, uh, yeah, making you understand, you guys uh, just, okay. Yeah, Tejasvi, did you note it down? Done, sir. Done. Okay, so what was the other question? If alpha, then find the value of uh, one by alpha. So let alpha and beta be the root. So hmm, what is this Tejasvi? Where is where does this come from? So yeah. So just focus that we have to find what is one by alpha plus one by beta. This we have to find, right guys? Yes. Yes. And uh, can we simplify this further? Yes, sir, by cross multiplication. Huh? Cross LCM, LCM. Cross multiplication comes when we have this equal sign. Right, so that is how cross multiplication comes. LCM, we have to take the LCM, right? Yes, sir. So if we take the LCM, alpha and beta LCM would be how much? This is alpha one, beta, beta one, one, so alpha into beta. Is that, uh, so if I divide this by alpha, so beta remains, and if I divide it by beta so alpha so alpha plus beta and alpha so is this uh, familiar to you guys amira yes. tejasvi and abir yes sir we can find alpha plus beta is minus b by a yeah and uh, we can find alpha into beta also. right uh, tejasvi and uh, amira yes sir okay so 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, where is this equation? Ah, so alpha plus beta is uh, what? Minus 3 by 4. And alpha into beta is how much? 7 by 4. So 4, 4, let me write it uh, properly. So minus 3. And this is in the denominator of denominator. So this goes in the uppermost numerator. And this is this goes into the first denominator. So this goes over here. So this would be 3 into 4 divided by 7 into 4. So 4, 4 cancels and we have minus 3 by 7. This would be 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta. Is that uh, clear, Amina, Tejasvi, and Abir? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, so do we have another question? No, sir. No, so only three questions I gave. Hmm. Yeah, you guys, uh, did you guys note it down? Oh, there are four questions. So one, two, three. And uh, fourth one. So this I also solved. This I also solved. This I also solved. Yeah. So there are four questions, right? Four question. Uh, so yeah. So it's uh, it's very good that you guys are sending your homeworks so that uh, I can discuss uh, what whatever is uh, lacking, right? So then we can work on that. Okay, guys. So. <laughs> Yeah, whenever I give some homework, you guys uh, try those questions. Then we can discuss it here. And uh, there is no harm uh, in uh, seeing what uh, we are lacking, right? So then we can try to work on that. 
because my negative point is that my calculation is very weak. So, yeah, so what I do is that I practice a lot. So similarly, you guys find out that uh, where you guys lag and try to work on that. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so did you guys uh, note it down, this question? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. So now let us uh, go into the next chapter and uh, yeah. So this I did in the first batch. So let me start from here. Huh? In which batch did I this? Oh, so in, in here only, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I was uh, discussing this. So, and uh, okay. I was thinking that uh, Hashid and Amar would be able to join, but uh, hmm. okay, so uh, let's go ahead, right? And what did we learn? That uh, we learned about some progression, right? So progression or series follow some pattern. This we understood in the previous class, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. And uh, in progression, we have terms. So the there is first term, there is second term, and uh, there is third and fourth and so on. So there are different terms, first, second, and third terms. And we denote those uh, terms in subscript uh, notation. So, and uh, whenever I have this n, nth term, so that is represented by this en. Right, guys? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. up to, yeah, up to this point uh, we learn. And uh, then we also find out that what is the difference between the successive terms? Right, so A2 minus A1 and uh, between A2 and A3, so this is the successive term, right? So the difference would be A3 minus A2, right guys? Yes, sir. yes. And similar case for A4 and A3, so on. So this is called the difference between successive terms. And uh, now if we know all these points, then we can come to A3. So in AP, what happens is that yeah, so in AP, what happens is that all the differences of uh, successive terms are seen. So that is why we call that common difference, right? Common because all the differences are the same, common difference. And uh, this is uh, denoted by D. Is that uh, clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah. So in the case of this natural number, you guys uh, find out uh, that uh, the difference is the same, right? For yes. all the successive terms. So this is, these are the common difference. Common difference. And uh, this uh, progression will be called an AP. Right, because common difference is same. Is that clear guys? This is the definition of the AP, right? Whenever you have all the differences are same, whenever you have a same common difference, so then you call that progression an arithmetic progression. Any doubt, uh, guys? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah. So, yes. Yes, Amira, what did you say? Nothing, sir. Oh, yeah. So let's say that I have the first term as A. Right, so let me let me take this example here. So for the case of natural number, for the case of natural number one, the first term was one. The second term was uh, what? One plus one, because uh, one was my common difference, right? Just uh, look at uh, from here. So my first term was one. Right. 
and second term was one plus one, right? First term plus this uh, difference. Is that uh, clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, and then this third term would be how much? One plus one plus one. This is D and this is D. Is that uh, clear, guys? Yes, sir. Right. So let's say that my first term for an AP is A and the difference is D. Right. So my first term would be A. Okay. And what would be my second term? Just take the example or analogy from here. So the second term was first term plus the Difference. common, right? So what would be here? A plus A common plus one. A plus one. What is the common difference here, Amira? Yes. What is the common difference here for this AP? A. a is first term. Common difference is this T. Okay. Right. Okay. This is how. Yeah. So, Abir, what did you say? A plus common difference, which is one here. No, no, here, in case of here, common difference, you have an AP whose first term is A, common difference is T. So, in this case, what would be here? A plus? A, a plus D. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is uh, correct. And then what would be the third term? A plus 2D. Yeah. A plus D and plus D. Okay. Right. So this is uh, the second term plus the common difference. And then A plus D plus D plus D. So is that uh, clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so now we can simplify this further and we can write this as A plus T and A plus 2D as the just we was saying and A plus 3D, A plus 4D and uh, so on, right? So you guys can see that uh, this is my first term, this is my second term, this is my third term, this is my fourth term, fifth term, right? So uh, you guys uh, can look here that if I calculate the second term, the coefficient of D is one, right? And if I calculate this third term, so what is here? Two. Two, right. And if I calculate fourth term, so what is here? Three. So this is, uh, what is the difference between these uh, these uh, numbers. Difference is one. One, right. So if I calculate fifth term, so I get A plus 4D. So let me ask you guys that if I calculate nth term, so you say that uh, this is two minus one, this is three minus one, this is four minus one, this is five minus one. So what would be here? A plus, yeah. A plus N minus one into N minus. Is that uh, correct, guys? So is this part uh, clear? TJSV and Amira? Yes, sir. Yeah. So yes, sir. this is this is called uh, the general term. Uh, this is called the nth term. A plus N minus one into T. So this is called the nth term. Okay, and uh, the general form of the AP as you guys uh, derived. So this is the general form of the AP. A, A plus D, A plus 2D, and A plus 3D and so on. Okay, so this is the general form and this is the nth term. Okay, is that uh, part uh, clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
So yes, let's say that uh, using this formula, if I want to calculate what is seventeenth uh, term, so what would be that, uh, Amira? Just look at here. N is seventeen. So what would be, what would be here? A plus uh, seventeen A plus, minus one. Correct. Seventeen minus one. Absolutely correct. And D. Right. So this yes, would sir. be A plus sixteen. Absolutely right. Good. So this is how we can calculate any any term. Right. Nth term. So this is about uh, the second exercise, right? And uh, oh, this is this is in the first exercise. So this is in the first exercise, and uh, this is about the second exercise. So now we can do up to first and second exercise. Okay, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, you guys, uh, please note it down. So where should I, this part? Yeah, you guys uh, note down from here. So in the first exercise, we have, uh, we will find the question that uh, uh, say whether these, uh, a, these uh, progression are AP or not. So in that, we have to only prove that the difference, common difference is same. Okay. Okay, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So the first exercise about identifying the AP. And to identify an AP, we need to prove only that their common difference is same. Yeah, and then this second exercise is about this uh, nth term of the news. Okay, so whenever you guys uh, need me to scroll down the screen, you guys uh, tell me. Uh, scroll down. Yeah, what about Tamira and uh, Abhis? Yes, sir, noted. Thanks, sir. Yes, Abhi, do you know about this uh, class assessment uh, test? No, sir. Okay, so now you have your uh, login ID, right? Your learning view account. Yes, sir. Yeah, so what uh, we do is that uh, after every class, uh, so we do some topic, right? So let's say that uh, today I did this AP topic. So then uh, we do some test that whatever you have learned from this class. So you will log into your uh, learning account and then you will find the class assessment section. So you will go to that class assessment and then you will see some test active. So please uh, take uh, that test. So th then I would be able to understand that how much we have learned in this class. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So please, uh, please uh, be there and log in and then take that test. Uh, because uh, Tejasvi and Amira already know that. So, yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. So, uh, done. Okay, Amira and uh, Abhi, done. Yes, sir, done. Noted. Yes, sir, mine also done. Okay, so let's. Let's do some exercise. Yeah, first exercise is about identifying the AP. So we need to just prove that the common difference is same. This is the whole idea about this first exercise. Where is that first exercise? Yeah, this one. Okay, so this is some word problem. So I will come to this word problem later. 
okay because from the start we we should uh, tackle the difficult problem we should uh, start with the simpler problems right then complicate things not to jump into the complex problem right away because because that will uh, discourage right so let us start from the uh, second question and then uh, we'll come to this first question later okay so write first four terms of the ap when the first term a and the common difference t are given as follow right so a is given a is 10 d is also 10 right and we need to we need to find first four terms so what is the first term first term is a first term is second 10. term is what a plus t right third term is a plus a plus 2d 2d and fourth term is a plus 3d right guys because yes, uh, yeah because we know the general form this is the general form So this we know. So we know A, we know D, so we can calculate all these terms. So A is uh, 10, right? Yes. And A plus D is 10 plus 10, so 20. This is 10 plus 2 into 10, so 30. And this is 10 plus 3 into 10, so 40. 40. So these are the answers. Okay, so the second is uh, Tejasvi, Amira, a B and this we will skip. You guys uh, quickly note it down and uh, okay. Done, sir. Done. THSP and Amira, done. Yes, sir. Oh, you said done. What about Abir and uh, um, Done, sir. Um, yes, Abir, done. Yes, sir. Okay, so THSP, you're done, right? Mm. Yes, sir. So yeah, A is minus two and uh, D is uh, zero. So what is the first term? Uh, A. A, right. And yes. uh, second term is? A plus two, A plus two D. Mm -hmm. A, A plus, plus D. Right. And uh, third term? A plus 2D. Right. Because we always have one uh, one smaller number here. Yes, and sir. A4 is A plus 3. Right. So yes, A is how much? A is 4. Minus. A is minus 2. A is minus 2. Right. Where is this 4? Sorry, 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 sorry. You are looking this third question, not uh, we are doing this second question. Second. Sorry, sir. Yeah, so no, no need to say sorry. Yeah, minus two. And then this is minus two plus zero, right? 
Yes, so, sir. Again, minus two and uh, then minus two plus two into zero. So again, minus two and minus two plus three into zero. So again, minus two. So you can see that the AP is minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two, and so on. So this is the AP. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. So you can see that uh, this is an con this is a constant AP. All the terms are equal. Right, uh, you guys uh, quickly note it down. Any doubt in this problem? No, sir. No. Yeah, you guys quickly note it down and then Amira will tell us the third question. So why did uh, Ashid and uh, Amar didn't join? Because then I need to repeat. Then I will be stuck because the syllabus will be stuck. Then. Then what about Amira and uh, Sir, mine was done early. Then. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh they just be in your school uh what chapter they have finished? Uh just a minute, sir. Just the just a minute, sir. Oh, oh. yeah, so Amira. In your school, they have finished uh, up to what chapter? They have completed real numbers, polynomials, uh, pair of linear equation, quadratic equations, and uh, trigonometry and uh, statistics, probability, and triangles. Also, they didn't do this AP. Uh, no, no sir. this one is also done. So that is also done. My school, we didn't do AP. So, we just uh, like we didn't do the full uh, because vacation started. So we uh, we have just done the, like the introduction part and half like half of the chapter. Okay. Like okay. Eight chapter in Amira school and in Tejasvi school they have reached uh, here. So we have done real numbers, polynomials, pair of linear equation and two variables, quadratic equations, triangles, probability, uh, coordinate geometry, and circles. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so in the uh, TGS3 school, uh, they are one, two, three, four, fifth AP is done. Sixth is mm -hmm. also done. Seventh is also done. Eighth application AP of not, AP is yeah. AP is not done, sir. So in your school, AP is not done, right? Yes, sir. And uh, triangles done. This is coordinate geometry okay. done. And eighth, so ninth. They have skipped and 10th is done. Yes, sir. Okay. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, seven chapters here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chapters here. And Abir, what about you? Sir, everything except circles, what they just, they just said. Okay. So, except circles. So, one, two, three, four, six seven right so six chapters yes sir okay so then we are here and we will try to complete this this and uh, yeah so six seven is common so stats and uh, circle so we'll start with circle and then go to quality and statistics yeah so this would be our goal uh, we will try to finish all the chapters before the vacation ends. So then uh, we would be revising only, right? So that uh, we can discuss about all the doubts or problems that you guys uh, face. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Third one is uh, Amira. A is uh, four and D is uh, minus three. So what is the first step? It is 10. Hmm? 10? Ah, this one, this one, you guys are. Okay, yeah. sorry, sorry. A four, four. four. And uh, the second term is how much? Four. 
A plus D, which is uh, 10 plus mm -hmm. uh, 4 plus minus 3. Right, so 4 minus 3, 1. And then A3 is A plus 2D, so 4 plus 2 into minus 3. So 4 minus 6 minus 2 and A4 is A plus 3D, so 4 plus 3 into minus 3. So 4 minus 9 and this is minus 5. Right, so AP is 4. Uh, 1, minus 2, and minus 5, and so on. Right, guys? So you yes, guys uh, quickly note it down, and then fourth is the Abigail's turn. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, And uh, so your exams, uh, your exams uh, finished uh, recently, right? Uh, Amir, uh, Tejasvi, and Amira. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. so can you guys uh, please take the screenshot of uh, those question paper and send it to me, so that uh, I will discuss all the questions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You guys uh, just send me the question paper screenshot of uh, or PDF of the question papers. Okay. Yes. Yeah, noted everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so now uh, Abir will tell me the answer of the fourth question. So Tejasvi and Amira both have both <laughs> I have just thought that this was the question. So, yeah. They just we thought that uh, third was the question, and Amira thought that first. Yes, question. sir. Okay. So, Abir, this is fourth, is the is yes, order, sir. right? So, A is uh, minus, minus one. Minus one. Yeah. And so B first is one by two. First term is minus one. Minus two and uh, one, and second term is a plus d, which is minus one plus one by two. Yeah, so we get zero. Ah, minus this is not minus half, so minus one, minus one and plus half, so half minus one. So that would be if we take the LCM, right? So this is the LCM, one, two LCM would give two, so this is minus one minus multiplied. Two. Yes. Minus, so this is minus half, right? So you can also think this way that you have minus one and you take half, you add half to it. So that would give you minus half, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, what is the third term? Minus one plus two okay. into one by two. Okay, so direct mm. two into one by one by two. So minus, so minus one, one plus, plus one. So this so is zero. zero. Oh, so you went ahead and just told me the answer of the third term. Okay. <laughs> okay. So fourth is uh, how much? Minus one plus three into one by two. So minus one plus three by two, which is uh, two minus two plus three. Plus three by two. So how? Right. Yes, so the AP would be minus one, minus half, zero, zero and half, half and yes. so on. So you guys I quickly note it down and uh, then uh, I will give some homeworks and yeah, then you guys I take that uh, class as a speech. And uh, Amira, oh, yeah. So after that uh, class assessment, uh, please uh, be there so that uh, we can talk. Okay, sir.
So whenever you guys uh, complete uh, the instance. Done, sir. Done. So please uh, log into your uh, uh, learning account. And let me ask that uh, whether the test is active or not. Let me give me some moment. Okay, so the test will be active in uh, four minutes. So then we can go ahead and can you guys uh, give me four minutes? Yes, sir. Okay, so for the following AP, write the first and the common difference. So we can do this problem. Yeah. Yeah, so Tejasvi and uh, Abhi, did you get the results of your exam? Yes, sir. Yeah, and how did how did it go? Good, sir. It went pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. So, and if uh, it didn't go very well, so don't uh, get disappointed. Okay. So, we always learn, right? So we learn uh, whatever we have done uh, something wrong in that uh, paper or right whatever we lack. So we always learn that learn that uh, what we are lacking in which uh, part we are lacking. So just learn from that and then improve uh, that part in the next exam. Okay, good, good, Nice. So this uh, came uh, from uh, linear equation and uh, quadratic uh, equation. Very sweet. Yes, sir. Yeah, good. Okay, so uh, third uh, first question. For the following AP, we have this AP three one, and this is already given that these are APs. So this is already given. Okay, which means that common difference would be the same, right? So it is my first turn. So this is my turn. So A is what? Three, right? And A2 is what? A2 is uh, one, A3 is minus one, and A4 is minus three. And A1 is uh, three. So D is how much? A2 minus A1. Right, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so I can, A2 is 1, and this is so 1 minus 3. So minus 2. So this is, and I, call, I can also calculate uh, the AP from uh, this way also, A3 minus A2. So this will give me the same result. A3 is minus 1 and uh, minus of minus 1, so minus 2. Right, whichever you way you guys want to calculate, so you can calculate. So D would be A2 minus A1, which is uh, one minus three, which is minus two. So you guys uh, note it down. Okay, and uh, yeah. So I just got the message that test is assigned. Okay. Yeah, so you guys, uh, just log into your uh, learning view account 
And can you see the active test in the class assessment section? Yes, sir, we can see it. Okay, so please uh, take that test and uh, Amila, uh, so whenever you guys uh, start the test, they just see and uh, Abhir, just uh, complete that test and uh, you can leave, right? So I need to talk about uh, something uh, to Amira. So Amira, you will be here. Yeah, Tejasvi and Abhij, did you, did you guys able to find uh, that test? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, please, uh, please. Uh, so uh, you have, you will find five questions. So one, two, three are easy. Fourth and fifth are somewhat uh, difficult. So, but uh, you will also get hint to solve those problems. So yeah, this is how it goes. Tejas, what about you? You started that test. Actually, sir, it says that something is problem with my email ID. Hi, hey, hi. Hey. <laughs> mm. So my email is not updated. Okay, so then you. Okay, so then what you can do? So then you can uh, take the test uh, some other time. Okay, Tejas. So I will try to do just a minute. Okay, yeah, just. Try that and uh, Abir, you have started, so please complete that uh, and you can leave, uh, right? So, yes, sir. Yeah, big, yeah, so you can leave, uh, and uh, I need to talk to Abir. Yeah. Uh, they just you was. Okay, sir. Yeah, because. Okay, uh, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Bye, bye. Thanks. And uh, please, uh, if you are able to take that test, take that test. Uh, otherwise, you can. We can assign you some other day. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye. Just bye, bye. Yes, uh, Amira. Yeah. So your mother texted texted or something about uh, the results, right? So yeah, we have to the the outcome of uh, that test is that we have to work on something, right? We have to improve uh, ourselves. Okay, Amira. Yes. Yeah. Don't yes. uh, don't uh, get disappointed with uh, that result, right? So it only tells that we have to work on something. Right, and uh, I found uh, something mm -hmm. odd about that marking also. So, uh, wh which was the latest exam? The 20 marks one or the 10 marks one? Which was the latest? Uh, it was the 20 marks one. 21, so, and uh, you had uh, two chapters, right? Yes, sir. Uh, the second or and uh, the third one, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, so let me open uh, that uh, PDF and uh, let me let me discuss about that because, because uh, I found it, uh, I found the marking strange, right? Because uh, in, your, uh, in your answer sheet, I found uh, the concept was, uh, concept was clear, yeah. concept was right. Only the one calculation, uh, only there was uh, one calculation mistake. So, but in that uh, sheet, they just cut uh, the whole uh, calculation. So that is that is wrong, right? Because uh, yes. yeah. So let me let me open that and uh, um, let me open. That. Yeah, this one. But first thing is is that uh, don't uh, get disappointed with that. Uh, with the marks. This only tells us that we have to uh, work and we will not uh, give any anything so that they can cut our marks. So this is uh, what we learned from this exam. Okay, Amira. 
Yes, sir. Yeah, so let me let me save this and then yes, so let me share this. Yeah, so you see that. Uh, uh, this was so. This first question, you directly wrote the answer. Uh, yes, sir. That was an MCQ. MCQ. So this was of uh, one marks or how many marks? One marks. Okay. So and uh, so you only tried. Oh, what is happening? Yeah, so, yeah. so um, you see 